Well, hello folks, welcome on to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and we're back with this career mode save with the Custard Haulers uh, on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, this episode's going to be a little bit different because we are focusing on a achievement, uh, the Going Camping achievement. And uh, for this video, um, because this, car this achievement in the uh, West Balkans DLC is probably one of the most complicated of achievements uh, that that so well, it certainly is the most complicated of, of achievements that has been put into the game for that particular DLC. We are going to be uh, talking about how you can complete that achievement. Uh, the uh, the details of each leg. Uh, we'll talk about exactly what the achievement is, uh, as well as doing all of that as we go through our first leg, which is uh, uh, in which we're driving or all the way from Nixich in Macedonia to uh, Rijeka in Croatia. So we'll we'll drive on a little bit and we'll come back at the uh, the sites. Um, but uh, we'll we'll start with with explaining exactly what this achievement is. Right, folks, we have uh, just we've gone about. Uh, just over an hour into the journey, we've crossed over from Macedonia into Bosnia. And this is one of the most spectacular parts of this this journey, this little um, road snaking down the side of a mountain, um, getting all the way to the bottom. It's a really, I mean, it's only 12 mile an hour speed limit. You have to go super slow here um, on those corners. And you can see down there the, um, the beautiful sea. No, you can't actually. Uh, not yet. So, what is the Going Camping uh, achievement? Well, it's one of five uh, achievements that were added with the West Balkans DLC. And the other ones are fairly straightforward. I think the uh, perhaps the uh, the Holiday Coastline one is, is a little less straightforward, but it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. This one is more complicated, and there are five legs to it. And essentially, it's a camper van production chain. So, you are going to be um, taking loads to generate increasingly, increasingly more complex parts from a camper van. So, we start off with this load of ore, which is the very simple complex the very simplest complexity then this gets made into aluminium ingots then into electrical wiring then into electronics and then finally into a camper van um, and so each of those five legs requires a particular specific delivery of the items that i just spoke about the key thing with this is um, there are two important parts to this two things that really really matter number one now we just make sure we get to do the turn off here so number one is that the starting city needs to be one of the correct starting cities and number two it needs to be from the correct company and I think a lot of people have found it a bit difficult because they think, well, I've delivered some aluminium ingots, but it's from the wrong company um, in the wrong starting city. So um, that that is the thing to uh, to remember with this. So over the next um, few minutes, I'm going to talk through where each of those deliveries and where each of the companies are that you might need to um, uh, that you need to deliver from and I'm going to make sure that all that information is down in the description below So you don't need to remember it. You can just use this video as a bit of a reference point Here we go. We've got another border to cross. We did the x-rays in the last one. Uh, I got it right I didn't have a I didn't ax I didn't um, incorrectly cross or illegally cross into a country right um, so We'll get through this border and then we'll come back and talk a bit about the the first couple of, of jobs, the ore and the aluminium ingots. And we'll do that when we get down by the sea. Okay, so we are now, um, we've come down into the beautiful little town of Dubrovnik in southern Croatia. 
um, crossed over the border into Croatia. Um, so let's think about those first two deliveries on the going camping um, achievement. What do you need to deliver and where do you need to deliver these from? The, the location you're delivering them to, that does not matter. Don't need to worry about that at all. So we pass over this absolutely stunning little bridge. And we'll do that in this mode, I think. So, so first first delivery that you need to um, that you that you need to be uh, worrying about is ore, and this comes from the Aluxan Aluxion company, uh, and these are located in uh, there's three of there's four of these on the map. Uh, there's a couple in Bosnia, uh, in Karakaj and Mostar. Uh, there is one that we just left in Nixic in Montenegro and another one not too far away from that in Podgorica. So let's have a look at the map and just have a look where those things all are. So Podgorica and Nixic, so these two things are quite close to each other and you can see the Aluxion um, company there and there and the other two are in Mostar which is here and Karakaj which is here. So actually my this is a, a quick a quick jobs truck that I've got at the minute and my other truck is actually the truck I'm driving is in this this factory here and you can see in Mostar you've got you've got it here. So that's the um, that's the first delivery of ore. Now these deliveries are sporadic so you're not always going to find them. They're, they're not always going to be there. So if you tip up in your truck and you're expecting to there will be a delivery of ore for you to take around you're not going to make, be able to do it it's better i think to do this via the quick jobs route um, rather than sort of desperately trying to to get these jobs with your own truck now the second one is aluminium ingots now there are a number of companies that you can um, find aluminium ingots uh, from but the one that you need to use is exactly the same one as you need for the ore. So same company, same site. So that's the Bosnia uh, in Karakaj, Mostar. So this is Aluxion in uh, Karakaj or Mostar in Bosnia or in Montenegro in Nixit or Podgorica. Exactly the same thing. So you don't need to worry too much about those first two deliveries. Right, I'll see you in a little bit and we'll talk about delivery number three where it gets much more complicated. Well, another absolutely spectacular bridge that we're going over, folks. I mean, this is just amazing in Croatia. Um, job number three on the going camping achievement is the electrical wiring. And for that one, you will need the company, which is Batunija, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Um, and there are a few locations, quite a few locations for this. So we have... We have Albania in the cities of Tirana and Vior. Now, Albania, I have to say, is a city that I haven't actually, uh, a country I haven't been to yet, so I'm, I think this is a great opportunity to go down there and, and check those out. Bosnia, again, Mostar, uh, but this time in Tuzla as well. Uh, Croatia in Zadar, so close to where we are uh, going to at the minute. Uh, Kosovo in the capital Pristina, which is the only city in Kosovo, and Serbia in Novi Sad. So a few, a uh, few locations to pick up those electrical wirings from. Let's go and have a look at those on the map. So here we go. Batunija is here in Vior. It's a little bit out of uh, Tirana up the top here, but um, still not that far away. We've seen Mostar, and it's right in the in the centre of Mostar, in um, Bosnia, and in Tuzla, in the other city in Bosnia. In Croatia, the city of Zadar, it sits here. Kosovo um, in Pristina, again, very, very central. And Serbia in, uh, in Novi Sad, it's actually here in this, this 
a load of uh, companies up here. It's quite a good city, actually. Lots and lots of um, lots and lots of uh, industries going on. Okay, we've just got over that bridge, so there is uh, just under seven hours to go. 325 miles. We're doing well. We haven't had any speeding problems. We are. We are, we are living it large. Another toll road ahead. So we will come back and we'll talk about the fourth company that you need to visit to make your camper vans. And in this case, you'll be generating the electronics. I'm not sure if there's actually a way through here. Can we get over... I'm going over these things. It's not ideal. Right, here we go. I hate things like that in the road. That was the worst one. It was really hard to get past them, but uh, we did it. We did it. We, we only went a few miles down the road, so we will be coming back to talk about um, number four in a second. Lovely views, though. Right, <laughs> this is this is why it was. Um, well, am I going to hit those rotors? Is that a thing? I've we go as far over as we can. I'm panicked. I think we're going underneath them, are they? Oh, look at... Oh, did we get sideswiped right at the end as we came off? Well, we got through them. Got some... I've got a little bit of damage there, but... Oh, man. That was not needed. Right. The uh, the lorry who on the left just, just decided he was going to ram the cars to try and get past them didn't work so they're all stuck behind there okay just coming past the turn off to split now um, then it's not that far to go up to Zadar and then it's a rather nice little trip up towards uh, Rijeka if you go the route alongside the sea I think it's a few different routes we can go so fourth um, so the the fourth uh, delivery um, of electronics on the uh, uh, going camping achievement is uh, from the company which is called Ufema uh, and so again Albania is is where this this company is situated Tirana and Vior in Albania Bosnia it's in Sarajevo uh, Serbia it's in Belgrade and in Nice and um, Slovenia it is up in Maribor so a few locations that you can go to there um, I won't show all those on, on the map because I think there's enough there to be able to see. Uh, but the very final one, and we'll do that right now because this is uh, a little bit more difficult to find. Um, and this is this is uh, camper vans themselves, so the finished camper van. Now you can also get these from a variety of different places, but the company that you're looking for is a company called Larius. Um, and that company is only located in one place and that is in Slovenia in the town of Novo Mesto so I'll go and show you where that is on the map so here we have Novo Mesto here between Ljubljana and Zagreb so we've got this this is your Larius uh, company where you need to get your um, camper vans from and again you're not going to get them every time you go there so quick jobs is going to be your friend for this right we'll move on here we go we're going to be going up the way and then we'll probably come back for a little bit of sightseeing as we go up the uh, up this uh, this these windy roads uh, on the way into Rijeka remember that all of this information is going to be in the description below so uh, don't worry about if, if you can't remember it all Oh, and what a lovely bridge. 
before we before we move on just i'd love to know if anyone has completed the going camping achievement and do you have any tips about um, maybe uh, companies or, or locations where the job comes up more frequently anything like that or where it comes up very rarely there's good this would be good information to have so uh, hopefully there's a few of you who have completed it and you can leave that information down in the comments okay little bit of a cock up made um, I forgot that this was a, a quick job and that we had to get there at a specific time so I did a double sleep so which meant I didn't have to drive in the dark and yes that means we have missed our delivery date delivery time I don't know whether this is going to affect whether we get that first part of the achievement we will find that out um, together but um, it'll be interesting to see if that is the case hopefully it's not hopefully it still works well a lot of lorries parked over there Okay, folks, right, I will see you shortly um, when we uh, we get to that, that windy part just before uh, Rijeka. We're not far away from it now. Bloody hell, the barrier didn't go on. <laughs> oh dear. It was all going so well and then the barrier decided not to lift. I, I, I took a risk and it was uh, not a good risk. <laughs> right, you can see just ahead of us we've got this, um, uh, this really windy part of the road, which I can't actually remember what this is all... Which is what this is like, so this will be fun. Um, been a while since I've been on this road. <laughs> Safe overtaking there <laughs> on a bend, blind bend just goes over, goes past the uh, um, camper van. Actually, it was, it was probably a little bit more viewing than I might have thought. So, yeah, this is a this is a nice one. Uh, it's not one sort of overlooking the coast or anything or it might be when we get a little bit further down but it's a good old one there's a parking space there which is helpful oh yeah there we go gorgeous views i thought there might be we've done this previously and then presumably down the bottom there is the city of i don't know something right we'll uh, we'll, we'll move on down we'll, uh, we'll have another look on the next uh, the next turn round. Yeah, it's a little castle on a hill up there. As we come down into the city, um, we, our employer was calling yet again, saying, "Where is our stuff?" It's the city of Senj. I think I've said this before. Um, there is no secret. I've seen a few things that I, m I think might be hidden roads, but I, that uh, I wasn't able to um, to check out. So I think on this route there might be one or two hidden roads. What are you doing, mate? But right by the sea here, absolutely glorious stuff. I imagine this is a really nice place to be in real life. Yeah, lovely. Okay, I'll see you when we get in there. Oh, Pavel has leveled up. We, we uh, quite interestingly, one of our drivers who I accidentally left on long distance, he is just keeps taking these enormous journeys all the way across from Leipzig all the way down to Lisbon or um, may not be. No, it's Far Faro, um, and he keeps finding the job every time. It's it's huge. It's absolutely enormous job um, he gets he's getting quite a lot of money for it each time I think twenty two thousand pounds the last go and he's, he's currently en route again and you can see our money is is coming in now now we've got five drivers um, it is coming in quickly so we'll, we'll be able to fill up our garage in, in no time and then go elsewhere so in the comments 
I want you to let me know where garage number three should be. We've got one in Leipzig in Germany. We've just put one um, in, where was it? In Banja Luka. And uh, so where should the next one be? Where should the next one be? Is it a problem to have them too close together or should we have them spread out? I am not sure. Right, here we go. A delivery site not far away. We're going to deliver our ore. And I am going to be fascinated to see whether this actually counts now we've um, been... Um, we've had a couple of crashes and we're late. There's nothing about that at all in any of the description I've seen. It says it doesn't need to be a perfect delivery. But we will see. Just through here. I've done the usual crashing into a barrier. I've done one of those. What is all the way down there? I think... It's in, it's in there. But I'm just going to go down here. <laughs> Hopefully, we can turn right here. This feels like this should be a um, hidden road, in my mind. There we go. <laughs> it's a random way to... Right. We will, I think, just drop this off. And hopefully then we pick up that first... Achievement point. I'm right here. I'm right here. You can see me out of the window. Stop calling me. There we go. First one. Going camping. Done. We are late. Uh, we lost... Well, we lost 114 XP and um, 800 odd euros. Not too bad considering how late we were. Got to keep that in my mind. You have, cannot double sleep on the quick jobs. But we've done the first one of the three of the five. So the next one we have to go from the same locations. So that will be from Nixic, from Podgorica, from Karakaj or Mostar. And uh, fingers crossed we will have one of those, this time transporting aluminium ingots. Okay folks, I, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Um, I Let me know how you have got, got on so far with this particular achievement. And um, big thank you to channel members. If you fancy being a channel member, hit the join button down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.